Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, you might have gathered by me rushing and throwing all of the handbags down what today's video is. It's been forever since I filmed my last handbag collection video and I haven't actually watched it back. Maybe I should have watched it back before I did this. I thought I'd do this in this kind of vlog style because it's such a big video to film and I've wanted to do it for ages but like it is just there's just so many of them. <laughs> I'd be sat there for ages if I was like setting up and stuff like that. So I just thought I'll shove them all on the sofa. Literally, there is like a mound of handbags right next to me. Um, I'll just shove them down, shove a camera up and just talk. If you've been following me on social media, you might have seen what happened last night. Well, it would have been two nights ago now. I ended up in accident and emergency because I got um, a very special ring stuck on my finger. If my finger's looking a little bit swollen, that's why they had to cut it off, which I was pretty devastated about. I was actually crying um, quite a bit about it. And I think Ali vlogged the entire thing. Bastard. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through all of my handbags. I'm not gonna try and remember prices and things like that. I'm also gonna try and keep talking to a minimum, but we all know how that goes. So I'm just gonna sort of tell you about the bag as briefly as possible and any prices and stuff I will pop in the description box because literally I just I just sat here now and I thought I'll go through and I'll try and find them all and it would just take me forever so all of that information will be down there oh am I gonna do a disclaimer I don't know if I'm gonna do a disclaimer I don't really care to be honest I don't care there'll be people that comment anyway so some people collect cars Lydia collects handbags and that's just how it is so let's get into my 2017 handbag collection and I'm gonna start things off with my small handbags work my way into medium and then into the very few big handbags that I have. So let's get into it. Oh, and also if you want to buy any of the handbags, if they're still available or if they're like available second hand or anything like that, I will have popped that in the description box below as well. Um, I love, I was just thinking to myself then Lydia, why did you look down? Because there isn't actually a description box below me, um, but it is on the screen. Anyway, let's get into the video two minutes 50 that's pretty good Lydia not bad not bad okay so I'm just gonna grab the bags that are closest to me so first one is my diorama and this is in the gray color obviously all of this specific information will be down in the description box below I bought this from Harrods and I think I probably would aim to buy a lot more of my handbags from Harrods moving forward if I don't buy them online uh, just purely because I've had really good service in Harrods and they've always been really helpful I absolutely love this handbag it looks so beautiful in spring and summer and it's really comfortable to wear because it has this strap and the strap also doesn't like flick up more of like the medium size so it does hold enough like I could get my vlogging camera and my phone and a little bit of makeup in there so it is really good um, for day wear obviously it's not a huge handbag but it, it's big enough and um, I'm just obsessed with the uh, print from Dior so this is lovely I would probably get this bag in other colors as well um, although I am toying with getting a smaller Chanel boy because if you remember I used to have the Chanel boy and I sold it and I got this one and I think I want the Chanel boy in a smaller size so watch this space still very much love this handbag but haven't been wearing it recently because I go in phases with my handbags so um, at the moment I'm just not wearing it as much next up we have my Bulgari Serpenty this is the one that I bought from Selfridges myself um, it's actually got all of my stuff in it that I wore to the BAFTAs so um, it's yeah got bits in it this is probably my evening bag of choice all the time just because this jewel like serpenty head looks so beautiful and I love the way that it's got this metallic finish and it is just a bit of a statement bag it is tiny I can't really fit my phone in it that well if it's got other stuff in it because I've got the um iPhone 7 plus um but it is a great bag and I always get so many compliments on it and also because it's quite small the fact that it's just got this chain strap means that it's not uncomfortable to wear because it doesn't get too heavy because it's small um it doesn't have a leather padded not padded but like a leather strap so it yeah I know I know what I'm talking about <laughs> um but these come in so many different colors styles shape no not shapes more well, shapes actually they do like top handle bags and stuff like that they've got so many nice bags Bulgari and they're all very sort of ornate um I'm actually getting one for my wedding handbag as well so that's exciting I love it a lot I've actually got another one of these as well but I will tell you about that in a bit next up we have my Chanel classic flap 
Um, this bag is a bag that has seen a lot of wear. It is definitely not new. Um, in fact, it's also got a scratch on it, which was devastating. This is a problem with having a Bengal. I know that everyone always says, like, don't get them declawed. Obviously, we would never get Lumi declawed, but she has scratched a number of my handbags and this one being one of them. She doesn't mean to do it, but she's done it. This is just any handbag lover's sort of iconic bag that they want. So when I bought this, it both, it made me feel sick, but it also um, was exciting. I bought this, literally, I finished filming the L'Oreal Tree Match campaign and I got in a taxi and I drove to um, Chanel on New Bond Street and that was where I bought it. It was kind of like a bit of a celebration for me because that was such a big campaign and um, I thought now's the right time to have it. So I, I did. This again has loads of space in it. Really, I, I've got to be honest, I wish I hadn't gone for the like double flap because this is just a little bit redundant. I never close it, it's not easy to close at all. Um, yeah, I just, it's a, a little bit annoying and it kind of gets a little bit crushed if I'm honest. We have a Christian Louboutin lipstick in there. <laughs> That's the thing with my handbags, I leave stuff in them. So yeah, this is a bit of a sort of like staple bag in any handbag lover's collection and um, I haven't worn it again for a while but um, I'm sure I will dust it off. I especially love this bag when I travel to be honest so I'm sure I'll be using this a lot over the summer. Next up we have the Celine Crossbody Trio bag and this is such an Instagram bag like it looks so good in Instagram pictures however I wear it as like my I don't care bag so if I'm going to the beach and I need like a bag that's safe and I can put lots of things in then this is what I use I don't mind if it gets sand in it because it's just not it's a casual bag like I wouldn't wear this out for dinner or anything like that you probably don't see this a lot but in when I like travel in the summer it's great for that so yeah then we have a, another Dior handbag this is the Dior Miss Promenade this is my first Dior purchase and I actually wear this a lot as well this is a really good evening bag and um, obviously I love the quilting of this and it's got a great cross body strap with the leather thing so it's a bit more comfortable although I do find that it sits in a bit of a funny place and wearing it cross body is a little bit weird it kind of sits further back whereas if you wear it just on one shoulder it's fine this is a bit like a wallet on a chain so it comes with the inbuilt wallet and then a zip pocket and then a bit for your bag I can still fit my vlogging camera and phone in there and then a little bit of makeup so it's um it is quite useful to use on evenings because it holds a lot but isn't absolutely massive. Then we have the iconic Chloe Fay. This is the small crossbody one. I actually had a big one and I sold that one because I didn't wear it as much. This one um, I bought because I couldn't get the tobacco coloured one and actually I ended up loving this a lot more. However, I don't really wear it that much. I feel like it's kind of had its day but I don't know why I don't sell it. I think it's because I love Chloe handbags so much and I love Chloe style so much there's another Chloe bag in here that I just think that I'll regret it if I sell this one so um, I've not I've not done that uh, this is the leather and then it's got like snake skin on it and it's got quite a few compartments as well it's got like three compartments on the inside and then it's got a little pocket there as well usually it would be a bit of a nightmare but actually I've not done too badly usually it's got like lip liner and foundation all over the bottom but I've actually must have kept this one quite clean and I actually wore this a lot so I'm impressed with myself <laughs> but it is a very beautiful bag and um, lots of people still wear the bigger version so I don't think this has gone out of style but I just don't find myself reaching for it so yeah there's loads of beautiful colors in this now though this is like last year last summer I think I got this and I got it from Selfridges so yeah that's my Chloe Faye. Then we have, this one's in a box because this was a engagement gift from net porte And um, this is a, this is a, what's it called? This is a, oh! <laughs> this is a Sophia Webster like clutch bag and this says wifey for lifey on it. So obviously I, I don't really wear this out. This is more of like a wedding ooh, bag and it's all like intricately beaded. Very, very cute. It's in like a little speech bubble so I can be like, why people like me? Then we have a bag that I've shown you recently. This is the Valentino Spike bag that I got from Farfetch. And this is such a great bag. It's so soft and you can really like stuff stuff into it. I'm wearing it a lot at the moment, usually like that. Um, and it's got loads of space on the inside as well. Still got stuff in it. Ooh, 
two pounds. Oh, I found my Tiffany bracelet as well. So you can tell that I've um, used it a lot because it's still got loads of rubbish in it. So um, yes, this is one of the bags that I use quite a lot. Comes in loads of different colors, styles, textures. Um, and I am tempted by the suede pink one. It's also a suede blue one. Oh my God, so many. Um, but in the moment I'm still wearing this a lot. So I'm just waiting for the sun to come out so that I can properly do this spring thing because Ugh. Then we have my other Bulgari Serpenty bag, which is this red one. This was a gift from Bulgari, and I haven't really worn it as much as I thought I would. Goldy one was, is just more of the evening bag that I would go for. I think if I was going for like quite a bold, sort of bright red look somehow, I would go for this one. But then again, I think I'd probably go for the the gold one, I don't know. But I love the quilting of this, it's so beautiful. It's so just intricate, it literally is so beautifully done. Sometimes it takes me a while to wear things and um, to find how they fit into my wardrobe. So they'll sit there and I won't wear them and I won't wear them and then all of a sudden I'll be like, aha, I have it. That is the outfit that that bag will go with. Then we have my other Chloe handbag which is the Chloe Nile and this is kind of like the bag of the moment. Took me absolutely ages to get my hands on this and I searched high and low and I had a wonderful subscriber help me get this bag and I just couldn't believe that it happened. I've worn this a lot when I was at Coachella, this is like the perfect bag for Coachella and um, it isn't, you know, it isn't massive. Um, it is a struggle to get everything in and like my phone has to kind of go like diagonal but it does go in. This is the biscotti beige colour as well which is my favourite personally in this bag and I love the crossbody strap as well. It's just a really beautiful bag and just something a little bit different for my wardrobe like I mean seriously I've never had anything that looks like that so we'll probably wear this a lot when the weather gets better hopefully. Good job I'm not getting married this summer. I would be devastated. This weather has been rubbish. And then we have the bag that I have been using a lot because there is just so much rubbish in there at the moment. This is what I used when I went to Paris um, last week. So it's still ooh, got all of my stuff in it. This is the Fendi Peekaboo. You would have seen this in my last haul video. It's got this kind of like lemony pistachio colored handle and it fits loads of stuff inside it. It's got these two really big deep Pockets. It's comfortable to wear cross body. It comes in loads and loads and loads of different sizes, colors, and styles. And um, it's just one of my favorites at the moment. I get so many compliments, which I didn't think I would get because it's not one of those bags that everyone kind of loses their mind over. Um, but yeah, I, I, I get so many compliments, and I'm like, oh, thanks. When I'm like shocked when people say, like, oh, I love your bag. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> But yeah, no, I really do love this handbag at the moment. And again, it's just something a little bit different in my current collection. Although I feel like I say that a lot, but it feels different to me anyway. And then finally, I think this is like my oldest mini handbag. This is my Balenciaga uh, mini city bag. And I bought this secondhand and I got it for like 500 pounds yeah it was brand new it was a personal shopper she bought it for a client and then decided to keep it for herself and then she was like actually i'm not gonna wear this so she sold it and i got it for 500 pounds this holds so much stuff as well and it's kind of like a classic balenciaga style um i love the sort of quite yellowy gold as well it's quite luxurious in terms of like handbags because you don't see that a lot nowadays. I know that quite a lot of uh, handbag brands kind of steer clear of this yellowy gold, but sometimes it's nice to have one that still has that. This always looked really nice with my Balmain jacket, so it's, uh, yeah, I, I just love it. It's really soft as well. I, I just like this one um, and I don't think I could ever sell it, although I've had a lot of people email me being like, can I buy your Balenciaga bag? And I'm like, no, sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think that I have, well I have, I know I have, I've finished all of the smaller handbags, so now I'm going to move on to the medium sized handbags, which there is definitely not as many as the small. I really hope I haven't forgotten any handbags. I tend to like put handbags down and then forget that I put them there, because I know that you guys never forget anything. You're literally like, um, where is your handbag that you bought in 1974? And I'm like, how do you even remember that? <laughs> This is possibly, like, this was the most expensive, like, the first bag I ever bought that was, like, really expensive. 
This is the Louis Vuitton Capucines and this is the BB size. And this is my favorite size in this bag. I don't like the bigger ones at all. Like I think they just look chunky and just it looks like an oversized version of this bag. And that's, I, I just think this bag looks so chic in this size. Um, I wore this bag so, so much and it literally look, it doesn't look like I've ever worn it. Um, <laughs> just finding stuff. Yeah, this honestly looks like I have never worn it. This is such a durable bag, one of the most durable that I own, and it just looks great all the time. I think this is more of, in this colour especially, I'd quite like to see it in another colour, like, when I say see, I mean have. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd quite like to have this in another colour, because this is, I think this is a really good work bag. This makes me feel very, like, profesh when I use this one and I'd quite like to have something a little bit more fun and a little bit more feminine because this is such a nice shape and style and it's very easy to fit lots of stuff in it as well so yes this is the cup scenes and I still love this but it's just not having its time right now but it will do it will do maybe I need another color in it I think I do next up we have the hardest handbag to wear I think in my wardrobe this is the um, Gucci Dionysus handbag, which I think is beautiful. Like it is such a beautiful handbag and this is all, like the detail on it is incredible. It's so beautiful, but I just, I haven't worn it as much as I thought I did. I wore it quite a lot in the winter. It went really nice with all the deep tones in winter. Um, but if I'm being honest, as excited as I was about it, I don't wear it as much as I thought I would, but it's not one of those bags that I think that I would sell. I don't know. I can't work out whether I think I would sell it. <laughs> I think with the, I, I'm kind of at the moment feeling like I'm a little bit over the Gucci thing now. I know that people are still very much under it, but I'm feel, I just feel like I'm a little bit over it, but that could easily, easily change. But at the moment I'm just, I'm not lusting after Gucci the way that I did. Um, but this is a bag that holds a lot of stuff and it's very sturdy, although I think that this leather um, could possibly mark very easily, but it has got a lot of space in there. So um, this is a great statement work bag, a good size statement work bag as well, but you wouldn't obviously get your laptops or, but still a very beautiful bag, just not worn as much as I thought I would. Then we have the bag that I wore throughout London Fashion Week. This is my Mulberry Mini um, Bayswater, I think that's what it's called, I'm not too sure. I got it in this red color, I absolutely loved it. And um, this is what I wore to the Mulberry show as well. It's such a beautiful bag. Again, this leather is so, so durable. I've worn this a lot and again, doesn't look like it's worn at all. It's in perfect condition. A lot of stuff for its size. Like it's just got one big massive pocket with 10p in it to the inside. I love the way that it sort of clashes a little bit with the red, but I just love it. But yeah, holds so much stuff and it was great for London Fashion Week. I had so much stuff in there, so that was really good. I'm loving all of the stuff that they're bringing out. Looking forward to seeing more from them and possibly purchasing more handbags. Uh, but this one definitely was the bag that I could not live without during London Fashion Week in February. Then we have my two Pochette Matisse bags from Louis Vuitton. I bought this one first. This was bought in Selfridges. I was running around like a mad woman trying to find this bag. And then I was running around like a mad woman trying to find this bag if you didn't watch the vlog. Basically, I justified the pink because I loved this bag so much. I love the style of it and I love how much it holds. It's a great day bag and um, I just wore it so much that the pink just made perfect sense. I love this bag still. This design is one of my favorites and um, which is strange because I didn't really think that I would ever be into the canvas monogram. I never thought I would want another one of these, but I did and I love both of them. They're beautiful. This one I got in Paris as well. You would have seen the vlog though, I'm sure. And probably one of my favorite handbag styles to date. That's why I've got two of them. Okay, so now we are on to my big handbags and also a hold all as well. So I thought I would incorporate that. This is gonna be the longest video to edit ever. <laughs> but let's kick things off with, this is my Loewe Joyce bag. I think that's what it's called. Um, I really love this design. I know that it's not for everyone. Not everyone loves this huge branding that it has on here. So I shot a blog post with this bag and it's probably one of my favorite blog posts to date. I will link it 
down below. I loved how the pictures came out. They looked so editorial. I just loved it. Um, but I don't wear this bag as much as I thought I would. And even though it literally is like a bottomless pit, this bag, you just literally, I could live in here. It's like an echo. <laughs> yeah, and I love this style. And when I see other girls wearing this bag, I'm like, oh, Lydia, you need to wear that bag more. But I just haven't found its place yet. Perhaps when I find myself a really nice floaty dress for summer, then and when the weather i'm just going to stop talking about the weather though because i feel like my whole handbag wardrobe depends on the weather which it kind of does but yeah not worn this one as much as i thought i would but love it nonetheless then oh we have the bag that basic oh my god there's so much stuff in here okay so yeah this is the bag that basically everyone has this is the Givenchy antigona bag and this is the small size with the glossed kind of finish you'd have seen this quite a lot on my channel to be honest it's been in like a what's in my handbag it's been in an unboxing i believe so yeah you've you've seen this a lot at the moment i'm not really wearing it it's got a lot of fluff on it <laughs> um but it is a bit of a classic for Givenchy so i feel like it everyone's got this bag and there's a reason why because it holds so much stuff it is quite a heavy bag i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't want to get the bigger size in this at all because heavy enough but it does still fit a lot of stuff in so this is a great work bag great for just shoving loads of stuff in it because there's loads of stuff in there right now that i didn't know i had <laughs> so um i will have linked a sort of big old page with loads of them on down below <laughs> but that is big handbag number two i love how i like came at the camera then i'm like then we have this mulberry bag, which I actually don't know what this is called. This was a like part of the invite to the mulberry show at London Fashion Week, which was a bit of a moment for me. I'm not going to lie. Like I, when I started blogging, I've said this story before, but when I started blogging, um, mulberry was like, I just owned mulberry bags. That was all I owned. And I think I had about four or five. I used to save up all of my money when I was a student just to buy mulberry bags. So the show was one thing. To have a handbag waiting in my room for me was a whole different story and I freaked out. I was like, oh my god. For me, it's a little bit too special for me to wear. I'm not going to lie. I'm totally honest about the other ones that, you know, I, if I don't wear them, I don't wear them. But this one, I, I kind of, I don't want to wear it. This is a bit of a pinnacle moment for me. So I just, I keep this as like a reminder and it's quite special and I have it on display in my wardrobe. And if you wanted a beautiful work bag, this is definitely one of them. It's got the zip closure, so it's safe. It's got the top handle, but also the crossbody for convenience and um, comes in a nice sort of very British wardrobe of colors, I would say. Like, is that the right word? Array, array, array of colors? range of rate we could go with range range of colors quite like navies and maroons and stuff like that so this is a, a bit more of a nudie color but just one of my most special handbags to be perfectly honest with you which you probably wouldn't expect <laughs> then we have the final item in my dior collection at the moment this is my dior ever you would have seen this so much um this is one of my favorite big handbags i need to have a clear out of these bags when when i finish this I've even got I've even got green tea tea bags in my bag because um, you never know when you need a cup of tea. I've got pins and needles because I've been sat cross-legged for so long. So I'm going to make this quick. But this is another great work bag. I have worn this so much. Oh my gosh. This bag has seen so much love and is in still in such good condition. This bag fits so much stuff and this isn't even the biggest one. I think this is the medium. And um, I love the colour of it. This is the tapioca shade. And yeah, this is just a really beautiful, sturdy, robust bag from Dior and it's seen a lot of love from me. I would probably buy the smaller version of this as well just because I love this size so much, but I'd go for something a little bit more exciting colour-wise. Just went a little bit safe with this one, but that's cool, that's cool, you can go safe sometimes. And finally, we have the most controversial bag purchase I think I ever made. People lost their minds when I was like, I want a really nice gym bag. So I bought myself one. Now obviously this isn't a just a gym bag. I use this a lot when I travel and um, I use, I, I used to go to the gym a lot. At the moment, life is so hectic that I can't remember the last time I went, which is not great for the wedding prep, I'm not gonna lie, uh, but I am trying to go more and more. Um, however, I did notice on the way back from the Maldives that one of these little poppers had popped off 
and I'm not very happy about it. So I'm gonna have to take this back to Louis Vuitton and get it fixed. Then someone kindly stuck a sticker on it when it, you know like when hotels take your bags and they allocate them to your room? Someone stuck a really crappy sticker on it and it's left like residue on the name tag, which was really annoying. But this bag probably sees the most wear out of all of them because I do use this so much to carry so much stuff in. It is probably one of the, the most used purchases that I have. It fits a lot of stuff and it's a really great size. It's not too much. So when we're like going to stay somewhere, it's good to pack the stuff that I immediately need in. I know that people were very shocked when I was like, oh, I want a really nice gym bag, but I'm allowed to have a really nice gym bag. Like if I want to have a nice gym bag, I'm gonna have one. But yeah, just a little bit disappointed that that happened. I would never have expected that. Surely these are supposed to be a little bit more durable, but then I, I, I don't look after this. I'm gonna hold, hold my hands up and say I don't necessarily look after this handbag. Handbag? This is not a handbag. As much as I should. But would I buy it again? Yes, I would because it's pretty. Oh my God, I can't believe that we've like reached the end of that and I think that I, I don't want to know how long this video is because I've had to restart the recording I think three times um, so that would suggest that there's like 45 minutes of me talking um, yeah <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut it down it's because I find myself so hilarious that I just jabber on all the time but yes you see my entire handbag collection I didn't want to include like purses and stuff like that that's just handbags let's not overcomplicate things I hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that it's given you an insight into what I own why I own it why I love it why I maybe don't love it and yeah I the obsession continues I guess because there's still more handbags that I would like to have in my collection so yeah all of the links to the bags will be in the description box below and also any information that I could have further given you on them will be down there as well. All of my social media links, if you aren't following me on Instagram or Twitter or anywhere like that, they are down below. I would love it if you came and followed me over there because interacting with you guys on social media is the most fun. Let me know what your favorite handbag is in this collection or what your least favorite handbag is. I'm cool with that, do you know what? I'm cool with that. You can say which one you didn't like, so go for it. Enjoy yourself. Go all out. <laughs> Other than that, I will see you in my next video if you haven't got bored of me because this video is so long. Um, and also, I hope that you hit the subscribe button down below because I do two videos a week and I would love to see you back here for more. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!